Man in the corner. Uh, yeah. So that one was, I almost wrote that kind of stream of consciousness. Like I started with just this bass drone, almost this funky, like G just repeating over and over again. And I was like, I just want to like do something on top of this. And I, and I, and I found some sounds that I really liked and lyrically it emerged because I had the idea that I wanted to, you know, for the chorus spontaneously shift. And it's like, we're suddenly off this G that we've been on all this time and we're in a new key. And I had this progression that I was playing, this melody too. And I was just sort of, you know, when I'm writing something that doesn't have words yet, sometimes I will just sing something that goes with it in order to just have something, in order to just hear it. But one line that I kept on singing for whatever reason, even though I was just like not thinking about what is this about? And it was the it was the nobody cares about the man in the corner. Nobody cares about me. And once once I had more of the song down, I was like, well, what does that mean? <laughs> what is that about? Yeah. So I just sort of wrote it from the perspective of this introvert, basically, who is at a party, sees someone they like, and is like, ah, I'd love to socialize i'd love to talk to you but like i'm over here in the corner and like this isn't my vibe i don't like being around this many people so like come talk to me but like you know nobody cares about the man in the corner I don't think I am the I don't think I am the man in the corner. <laughs> I don't I don't think this song is is autobiographical, but it's it's um I'm okay at parties, I like to think. Not great, but and then yeah, once I had the core of the song, you know, done, I was like, all right, after this second chorus, I wanna just go into Again, kind of this stream of consciousness writing of just like, I'm just gonna put in whatever I feel like hearing at this moment. And what I wanted it to do, what I felt like was, I think it should drop down and then we build back up and have everyone just entering in one at a time, building into this like funky intertwining lines that are just like this classic kind of funk groove. Yeah, and so that's that's what I put in. I'm like, man, these guys understood the assignment, like for sure. In like first rehearsal of this song, they knew exactly what to do, and it just it just went from there. And it's a fun song. It's just it's just fun. I know, I know I said it wasn't me, but I think it, I think out of us, it's either me or it's Chris. <laughs> I don't know. And it's like, it's not really any of us. The man in the corner is a, you know, he's, he's not necessarily a figure to be, uh, to be idolized. He's not, I mean, he's not a bad dude, you know, but he's a little, he's a little creepy. He's more of a lifestyle. It's more of a, it's more of a brand than anything. No, the man in the corner is a. I had I had thought about maybe the term incel, but I don't think the man in the corner is quite there yet. You know. Oh, you know what it is? Is like the Rat Machine and the man in the corner are definitely friends, but the Rat Machine definitely makes the man in the corner kind of uncomfortable. You know. The rap machine will like, you know, they'll be hanging out and then the rap ma machine will do or say something and the man in the corner will just kind of be like, hmm, okay, man, I don't know about that. Like, that's a bit, that's a bit weird. Like at the end of the day, the man in the corner, you hear him sing his song and he's just like, he's pretty genuine about it. He's like, I actually do want to, you know, be a part of things. You know, he's like, I want to get myself out there, but you know, I can't, I'm just the man in the corner. 
you know, but the rat machine, the rat machine's too far gone, you know, that rat machine. I think it's, uh, it's better to know a, a man in the corner than a rat machine, for sure. <laughs>